Okay. So good evening once more. Um, we are starting tonight's uh, live session and we'll continue on tools that uh, uh, VAs use for their job. And um, on our last discussion, we stopped at um, we stopped at HubSpot. HubSpot. That's where we stopped at. So today. We are going to continue from Microsoft 365 through Google Workspace. Microsoft 365 is equally called uh, Office 365. And um, I saw Onyinyech asking for the assignment we gave. That is so, Onyinyech, that is so disappointing. You attended a class. And the class is, um, we are asking for the, meaning that we are not even following and we don't even watch the video. So you, that is, you shouldn't be asking that kind of question in, in the platform. The video there is a recorded video, it's in YouTube. Uh, so I don't think I've uploaded, but it's then the YouTube. Why not go and watch the video? So you don't you don't want people to be doing everything for you, you do things for yourself. So I think it's a so Microsoft um, 365 and um, and workspace formerly known as uh, G Suite are designed to help you achieve more with innovative office apps, intelligent cloud services and uh, world-class security. So these are Microsoft 365. There's a lot of Office application that will help you to do your job very well. Mainly uh, Office applications. And they are competing with uh, Google. So as Microsoft have their own, Google have their own, very similar. So. But the only thing that Microsoft, most of their applications are paid. And Google, in order to drive their own business, most of the applications are free. So, and that's why Google are so popular, mainly for freelancers, because they are, they are offering a lot of powerful, powerful free services within their technology. Virtual assistant will need to open Google Docs and Sheets, uh, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint Doc, uh, primarily uh, they, they use calendar management. And uh, this is one of the biggest headache for executives, uh, scheduling meetings is very difficult to schedule meeting for chief executive or busy um, project managers, uh, program managers, high level stakeholders. It's very when they have a lot of activities. You can see one uh, program manager managing up to 10 projects, having different uh, meeting with uh, different people. So you find out that um, 
It's very difficult. Let me see. So, so it's very difficult for them to um, handle all these uh, engagements, all these meetings, activities. And that's why they need assistant, administrative assistant in the form of uh, virtual assistants to help them manage their meetings, engagement, workshop, you know, make sure that they don't um, miss their meeting. And so these are what, uh, what the virtual assistant will do. You use some of these uh, office tools to help them manage their meetings and their calendar automate all their meetings so that it will keep on popping up, reminding them about their activities. They equally use, um, they do a lot of data entry uh, using spreadsheets. Um, all of us here know what spreadsheet. Spreadsheet is, uh, is uh, the most common uh, database. People don't know that spreadsheet, will be hearing about database, database. Spreadsheet is the most common database. Database is a software to, to collect and manage data very well. And Spreadsheet is one of the best, you know, and common database all of us know. So when you say data enter, when you are typing um, uh, stuffs or making entries into database, into Spreadsheet, this is a data management you are doing. So we need spreadsheets to do that. As a, as a virtual assistant, you are going to be need, using spreadsheets a lot before we you graduate into a complex uh, data entry um, technologies. So you need to do documentation and the presentation. You need to document presentation, updating templates, and to do this, you need to use a, a Microsoft Word, Microsoft um, a PowerPoint, so slides for presentation. These are all the office equipment, office um, office uh, application you are going to be using as a virtual assistant. So these are common doc, common application all of us know we have been using for a long time, but we might not know that there are, some of them are key document wall. We might know anyway, but it's good to know that as a virtual assistant, these are some of the application you are going to be needing so much to do your job. So it's time we start looking at um, some of these uh, applications. In Microsoft, this is um, this is the application we have there. We have this Office uh, 365. We have. Um, Word, we have Excel, we have PowerPoint, and uh, this is uh, OneNote and um, Outlook, and this is Team, this is uh, Skype, and uh, forgotten this one, so many of them. So, but we are going to um, look at them in real life. So, and if you log in, this is how the Office 365 is going to be looking within the cloud space where you'll be working as a virtual assistant. 
here from here this is the you can open up here to make use of all these applications you know this is uh how it's going to be looking we are not going to to use it because it's paid it's a paid application and i use it in the office but i don't use it personally because it's not a uh, payment is not small money but if you are going to be using it your company will be getting a license for you to make use of uh, this uh, office 365 but there's one we can use uh, offline this is the one mainly we use we download into our system and start using it offline and i will open it up so we see um how it looks most of us have it in our system so if you if you if you if you are using a uh, microsoft word there is uh you might have other ones there so i will you will check see if you have some of them within your within your system. So let's see some of these things in real life. It's a, it's a pity I can't um, I can't share it from my from my desktop. It's not it's not uh, I cannot pull it from my desktop. So I can't share my desktop to for you to see. And finally, it's only my browser that I can share. I can share my entire. I can share my entire desktop. So there's no way I can share my entire desktop. So there's no way I can pull it up for you people to see from my desktop. But that is how it looks like these are all the applications we are going to be using we already know about them so we move to google workspace google workspace is just like uh, office 365 but they have everything that Office 365 like. This Gmail in uh, Microsoft, they call it Outlook. Uh, Microsoft have calendar. Gmail have calendar as well. This is um, Google Drive. Uh, Microsoft, they have it as well. This is a Google Meet for meeting. Microsoft, they have it, they call it uh, 
Microsoft Teams. So this is a Google Doc, Google Sheets, Google um, Slide, and a lot that Google have. But I think this one, we can see this one in real life. Um, we are, should be able to share it because they are all cloud-based. So they are not on my desktop, they are on the cloud. So I can share my browser for you guys to see this. You already know about it. Well, for you to see. So this is um I hope you can see my I hope you can see my screen. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So this yes, sir. is uh, from this. This is where you get all this. Um, look at this uh, uh, menu. From this menu, once you type, we open your 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 Google browser like this click here, you get all these applications. They are all these are all of them here. So you can use them from here to do your work. This is all of them here. Most of them are free. This everything that Microsoft can offer you, you can get it here and even more. So if you learn how to use Google very well as a virtual assistant or as a freelancer, not only virtual assistant, it's going to help you. All this application, everything here is free. Gmail, um, Google Meet, Google Drive, contacts, you can, you can see their contacts, Google Calendar, you can manage your translation, you can save photo, shopping. This is a uh, <coughs> it's in chart news. Then we'll go to the office <coughs> office uh, application, like this is doc, this is a sheet, like a cell, this is slide. So these are most of the application you are going to be using. So there is no way to start teaching uh, you people how to use a my, um, doc or sheet. We already know how to use it. If you don't know how to use Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel or Slide, is uh, way below this course. I'm not going to teach that. You go to YouTube and learn it. So, but it's just to let you know that these are the documents you need to do your basic office job. So this is just very basic, it's not complex at all. So you know how to use it. If you don't know how to use it, go to YouTube here type which one you want to learn. If it's how to use um, Google Doc, it's, there's nothing big there. Google Sheet or Google Slide, type Google Slide tutorial and you get it. Or Google Doc tutorial, you get it. Whichever one you want, you watch, go and watch them out. So, Then the next one we are going to look into, this is um, email. If you, you just finish Google Space, email management. So we know how to 
how we already all of, all of us have email you know how to manage emails so i'm not going to waste time on this so that we can look at other ones we don't have experience on at all so the next one i'm going to treat is uh, travel and expense uh, management uh, called a uh, concord and so many of us have not really uh, used it or even uh, heard about it so i i was asking a a virtual assistant that have um, gone through other virtual assistant training about concord i find out that they don't know about concord Hmm. Concor automate travel and expense planning. Companies can set policies that resist travel choice based on cost and uh, convenience. So with Concor, your company can say that because here, if you are working with companies, there's a lot of um, official assignments, briefs, and these are some of the areas for employees um, used to, to rob companies. So they will decide to have day with so many travel expense and they be using bloated uh, travel allowance. So, and in order to checkmate these companies tend to use um, some recognized travel um, companies or agents like they might say that our employees they are what they will be using for official engagement travel engagement is uh, uber or boats which everybody know their cost and they will integrate this uber or boat within this their travel and expense management app concord so that every travel you make, this particular uh, app will be, will be able to capture it with this uh, particular application and send it to the company for them to reimburse you. So this is what you can be doing if you are your manager, maybe you are managing a project manager or program director, you're traveling a lot, managing a lot of projects, from here to there, then it can be a duty to be managing the travel um, arrangement and the travel expense and uh, making sure that you are capturing all his or her travel and documenting them for payment. So this can be a job. You can be using it to book for hotel, capture hotel, capture car rental, and a lot of things you can use this uh, concord to capture and then process it and then send it for payment. So the key features in this concord is a uh, travel request and expense authorization. You can capture their travel and expense and documenting and send it directly to the, to the appropriate uh, quarter that I need to verify and pay. You know, vendors and users can submit receipts by emailing or uploading them through the system. This system will help you to capture receipts and email uh, for online booking for AWA, AFA, hotel, and car rental reservation. This is what it will help you to do. Minimize out of pocket expense by travelers through direct billing and payment aircraft, hotel, and car. So, if you are claiming that you are using your, your money for the company, this can be a way for you to be capturing and um, sending your expenses for them to see actual travel that you've made that you are not uh, uh, trying to rob company or overbloat your expenses uh, these are the way to do it using concord and who does that virtual asset and will be doing this on behalf of your client or manager 
capturing all these because they might not have time to be uh, capturing all these there is because we are going to be the one to be booking all this, uh, making reservation, flight reservation. If you are traveling by by cab like Uber, you are going to be making the reservation, booking, booking Uber for them and picking the expenses, documenting them in Concor uh, and uh, submit it, submitting it for, uh, for approval, for reimbursement. So these are things we are going to be doing using this uh, Concor. We are going to look at Concor to see their demo on how Concor works. Concor is a is an application for SAP. SAP is a very big company. They have a lot of applications. So, but Concor is one of the application they are using. So let's see how this uh, Concor works. So this is um, Concor, how it was, if you, if you type in Concor within your browser, this is uh, their landing page that you're going to um see so this is how the concord looks this is how the application use so let's see how it works so let's try the demo um they have free sign up which you guys uh, will try up later but let's see how the demo was so let's start the demo So looking at the demo, said you have an OBA to get to the conference. So let's say your, your manager need to go to this conference. So what do you do? You have OBA here and you have Concor. We click here on the concur. So your over receipt has been added. So you need to add your over receipt. You have booked over, maybe booked over for your clients, and then the receipt here, so you add the receipt. Then here, you need to capture 
the receipt. You see the receipt, uh, the, the, the receipt is now, see it now, it's captured. Now capturing the business, you capture the, the Uber and now capture the business meal. So you captured all the expenses within this conference. You cap first capture the, the OBA receipt and secondly, you capture the, the food there. So it's not like when you are submitting this, you know, like you, uh, uh, there is no, nothing hidden, no shady business here. Everything is very clear. Because they are capturing this from directly, the, this particular is, is captured from OBA. All these things are being captured directly. So there is no shady there. Then when you capture all these things, your dinner receipt, receipt have been added. The receipt image is scanned and the meal expense item automatically populated in concord expense. So you submit. So now you are back to the office. Now that the conference is over, it's time to start an expense re uh, report. Notice that your Uber ride, dinner, receipt, and hotel bill are already here in Concord. Expense in concord expense for your review. Now you've captured everything, so it's now to, to review um, all the expense. So you click here, you say start claim. Everything is over now. It's now time for you to start a claim on behalf of your manager. All this money your manager spent. So to make the claim first, name your claim, and the name of your claim is Conference Express. So you type it here. Let's say Conference. X the conference expenses, and then we enter. So next, you can add your expense to the claim. So we add the expenses to the claim. Now it said any receipt that have been captured are available here. Add them all to the report. So you see all the receipts, all the things we captured here. This is the business meal. This is the hotel um, where we we slept. The, the manager slept. This is Oba. Uh, uh, Oba ticket and this is a business meal juniors. So this is all the expenses that you've captured within this uh, concourse. So you add them all in order to get your claim. So now you said your claim has been created. All receipt has been saved uh, to your claim, but the company policy requires more detail about this uh, business uh, meal. So so he said, because they, they require more details, they need 
receipt of all the meals. So you don't just say you eat meal, they need so you will need to add attendees who join you for the dinner at the conference. So these are the the person that um your, your, your manager had the, the company because it's your company that is uh, hosting the conference. So the attendees, you people need to pay for the uh, meal as well. So you add it here. So said, add her name to the claim. Click add. And then her name is uh, Alice Vanka. Okay, you've added um, Alice Van Kapp. So, and then, so the system remembers the name that we have used before, so it populates Alice Van Kapp. So save your changes to continue. So you save. So your claim is ready. Now that your report is complete, submit it to your manager for approval. The final amount is automatically calculated in local currency based on your exchange rate. So here you submit the claim to the maybe finance manager on behalf of your manager. claim submitted. Your claims, your expense claims have been submitted, now continue to approve her. Your manager is notified that your expense claim is ready. Your manager receive a notification through the SAP Concom mobile that your claim is awaiting approval. So the manager from her own Concom mobile, because you have your own mobile and everybody, because of the company policy, everybody must have this Concom app. So your manager will check the, for review. So your manager, reviews and approve the claim. Everything looks accurate and uh, prepared for approval. Your manager can approve it now uh, from anywhere. So your manager have uh, reviewed and uh, click approved. So your claim has been approved. You receive an email for that, and that's it. So that's how to use a concord to <laughs> submit, um, manage expenses, uh, um, travel and uh, logistics and expenses. And uh, that's it. So because of time, we are not going to start um, uh, trying to register is free to register, but if we're answering this uh, demo we have um, done is enough. So just for you to understand, but you can register for free and um, see how it works. I'm going to look at the number of assignments I'm going to issue to make sure if 
this one is going to be coming up. So if you want to sign up, sign up here for free, it's free. So you can come here and sign up and really have a, a real feel of how the concord works. Because you don't know where we'll be working, whether they are going to be needed in. But it's one of the key um, duties of a virtual assist and managing expenses. And you can see how we use this particular application to capture everything, manage them, submit them for approval, get approval, and the money will be reimbursed to the account of whomever you are managing it on behalf. So, the next thing we are going to look at is um, this is the Concord app how it looks when you download it. So we're going to look at uh, Canva. Canva is an easy to use free and paid version graphic design software. It has plenty of stock images, videos, and templates. Canva can assist virtual assistant to create brand-friendly graphics in the following way. Post graphics on social media, website, and email. You are going to be doing a lot of um, uh, social and uh, media posting on behalf of your company or your clients or managing their websites or their email. So you, you, there are some things that you cannot um, be uh, hiring a, a graphic uh, designer for. So you can quickly do some of those small, small graphic works for, for your company or for your clients using a, um, Canva to do that. So it can help you to resize pictures and photos for different uses, export it and both in JPG or PNG. So this is a, a very good uh, application. You know that everything we do here is uh, graphics. There's a lot to do with graphics, both in website management and social media. There is a um, need for us to understand how to use uh, Canva very well. If you if you know how to use it, you can. If you become a professional, you can equally be not only be applying as a virtual. You can even be applying as a graphic designer. You know, once you know how to use this Canva very well, which is. Uh, a, a serious added uh, flag to your IT career. If you can even um, work only as a graphic designer, you'll be making, making a lot of money online, designing for international companies. They are looking for graphic designers everywhere. So many people from Nigeria, that's what they are doing for a living and they are, they are big, big boys. But some of you don't know these things. You can get a lot of jobs from Udemy, not only um, not only uh, Upwork. There's a lot, if you are a good graphic designer, you will see a lot of companies from this UK here hiring you, working for them in, from Nigeria, from Udemy. I mean, from uh, LinkedIn. I said not Udemy, I mean LinkedIn. So we are going to dive into Canva to see how it works in real life. So alternative to Canva is um, Adobe. Adobe is a superior um, 
application to Canva, but Canva have got a lot in stock as well. I mean, they are very, very good. These are the two, the two giants in the industry, just like um, Microsoft and their own application and the Google and the, all their own applications. So when we talk about Canva, we talk about uh, talk about uh, Adobe, but Canva is a bit lightweight to to Adobe. So let's look at Canva. Uh, here we see Canva, we type Canva and as you hear, you can see Canva free design to presentation, video, social media. So we click on that. So it's going to take us to, to here, say, say login. So I'll click our board. I think I already have an account. If you don't have an account, this is where you are going to click to sign up free. So, but I've already got, got uh, so you can sign up using your uh, Google, Facebook, or with your email. So, but I have an account already. There's no need of. Uh, signing up again so i'll just click on this continue with google i will do authentication And I'm in. So when you log into Canva, this is how it's going to look like. If you have not used this before and you are not into graphics, it will be a bit confusing. You might not know where to start. So, but this is the room. So let's start from this left hand side, see from whom. This is the home page. Then look at templates. If you want to, to use template, you don't have any um any idea or any knowledge of you can start from templates. Once templates here, you see all the templates here. You can start choose template from category here, you can choose from social media, maybe say. If you want an Instagram post, you have, you have, you're trying to post something to Instagram for your company. So this is all the all the templates you can use. All you need is just customize it with your company name or logo or tweet it the way you want. But well, these are free templates. A lot of people have designed them. Here. So if you want to start from, from the scratch, you can click here to start uh, from the scratch. And this is it. You can see from the scratch. You start building it from the scratch. So. But if we really want to use a template, not starting from the scratch,
So so if you are maybe you are into e-commerce and you are trying to show new arrivals. So this is a template and you can see this template is a uh, is free template it's not a premium so we can use this template customize it and then use it customize this template so as you here you can see here you can now start working on this template and uh, we can say we don't want this we can remove it it's gone and we can say okay we want to add uh, something here uh -huh. load something from here maybe image or video so this is how we can start customizing this template and then start uh, after customization and say so we don't want this as well. So this is how you customize all this. You add something, you duplicate, you can delete. So. But we're not going to be diving deep into graphic design. We're here just to show you how it works. So, so if you want to um, explore Canva from here, if you create and whichever one is it video, is it um, Instagram, whichever one. But if you want a custom size, you can start from here because you see all these ones have got um, the size already so if you are using any of this you are using the size already but if you need a custom size you start from here you decide the size you want then you continue and it's free you can see it's not locked it's free you can customize any of this and try using it so that's where you can you can do that from here You can upload photo from your district and start editing it from here. So, So we've uploaded photo from our from our laptop and we can edit this photo using this Canva. So this is this photo. So we can start working on this photo and start editing it the way we want. Let's say transparency.
So that's how we can um, edit this from here and get actually what we want. But this Canva, I don't use it a lot. What I use is um, Adobe. Because Adobe is good, and this is good as well. But most people, most freelancers, actually use this as well. Let's look at um, Adobe. So this is Adobe. It's just like Adobe and Concor and the Canva is just like uh, um, some of, like I said earlier, some of this uh, Microsoft uh, application and the uh, Google application. So this is the one I use a lot. And look at it here. I have. I have a lot of projects here. I have a lot of works here. These are a lot of works. I'm use, I've used it a lot. Most of my design, everything I do, this is where I design all of them. It gives me a lot of, um, almost everything I want, I get it from Adobe. So it's about left for you to know which one that works for you whether you want can, uh, Concord, I mean uh, Canva, or you want Adobe. So, but the scope of this course is to expose you to all of them. Whichever one you want, then you dive into it and learn more about it. There's a lot of um, videos here on um, for this, let's say, go to YouTube and type um, Canva, Canva tutorial. So you see how to use Canva for beginners. This is a very short. If you want more details, cause these are canvas, all the canvas. Most so, of all these courses are uh, good. So So that is so I'm not going to dive deep into teaching us how to 
be using Canva as a graphic design. So in some of these cases, you have to come and learn so that you'll be able to know how to use this thing to, to create um, image uh, uh, post images. Or you, either you are starting from the beginning or you are using templates. But the main The reason so many people are using it is because there are so many templates you can use. You don't need to be doing much work here. So there's a lot of free templates here based on your business need. Like we say, this template, there's a lot here based on your business need. You can use them the way you want. So based on if it's business, presentation, mind map, graph, Planner, letter headed. Let's see letter headed. So, all these are letter headed papers. You can just grab one, put your own company name and logo, and that's it. You start using it. There's no need of paying, paying graphic designers a lot of money to design letter headed paper for you or design a resume you can use this to equally design your resume let's see you want to use it for your cv so it can help you to design a very beautiful cv so very beautiful cv so, Let's look at this one. We'll customize this template. So with this, there's no need of um, crying that uh, you already see it here. From here, you can. Customize it and it will look good. So, can use it to, 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 to do your CV. So, there's a lot of things you can do with this Canva. A lot. These are beautiful CVs. Uh, yeah, so that is um, the much we can explore with Canva. And when you have that customizing, you can print or you can save it and start using it. So um, the time is fast running. Let's look at uh, Invoicely. Invoicely offer a powerful but easy to use platform for all your invoicing needs, both for freelancer and small to medium sized business. So, with this Invoicely, you can create a very powerful invoice. All you need is input all the data you need and it's going to populate an invoice for you 
So it's not, this is very simple, it's not a very difficult uh, process. So I will show us the platform when we're not going because it's not uh, difficult. Anyone can just go there and uh, do it. It's not, it's not what um, we are going to be wasting our time looking at how to do it. But just to expose you to that, See, This is how invoicely how it looks like. So, and um, it's free. You can sign up free, though they have their own premium. But that's how they make their money. You can you put your email and password and login. So, because of time. I will not log in. So, but it's very easy. It's very easy to use. So, and that is where we are going to stop for tonight. It is because of time. I don't like to run my class more than one hour, but we already one hour plus so so let's look at the remaining tools we need to cover in order to be comfortable with what we want to get so we stop here at invoicely and the next thing we're going to look at is uh, hunter.io for lead generation and um, last pass for data and security management so this is very important we are not going to do that now because i don't want to, to rush it we we'll need to take time and learn how to do it so and this lead generation is very good it's very powerful application for lead generation. If you are going to be a, an email marketer, you must know how to use this. So take time to learn these two um, application very well. And with that, we might be able to be coming to the um, the last tools we need to know, which we might be using to round this session up. So, for your assignment, you need to create an account with Canva. Create an account with Canva and create a bit, any kind of um, a, a good flyer for business or birthday, whichever one you want, but you need to create something. Go to YouTube and learn how to create this. It's very simple. So let's start from there. Get account here and start to use it to create something. So if you wish, you can download this concord and try it out.
So these are the things. I will advise you download Concord or sign in and see how this could because this is going to be one of the um, key things virtual as administrative assistant to they manage um, travel and expenses a lot on behalf of their clients. These are one of the things they do. So if you do this, that's very good. So you can do this to try to explore these two applications. And then next time we we, we, we look at this uh, lead generation and the uh, last pass, which you must uh, explore as well. And that is going to be the end of this uh, nice session. Once you know how to do all these things, get yourself familiarized with it. There is not much again. So your job as a virtual assistant is just knowing how to use all this application. Nothing more, nothing like there is no analysis here. Just knowing how to use it to do your daily jobs. So do your to perform your daily administrative tasks. Like when we are using uh, demonstrating on this uh, concord, you can see that it's very easy to use. Just learn how to do it. So if you have any question, I will take your question before we close. Chief Kirian, do we have a question? Sir, so actually, I don't. Okay. But um, um, it's about the the computer you spoke about mm -hmm. um, as a compulsory tool for being in your class. No, it's not even being in a class. In a, this is a job we are starting. If you don't have computer, it's okay. But know that you cannot do this job with phone. It's a full, it's a big time job. If you if you learn these skills very well and get it. Even bank managers will not see your back. The next thing you start uh, building your duplex and people don't know where your money is coming from. They say you don't create and don't join Yahoo. <laughs> I'm serious, you know? Yeah, so uh, I, we do have computer, but um, uh, the challenging thing there is that I, I share one with my wife. Okay. Uh, when your wife finishes, uh, uh, like all these assignments, when your wife finishes, you, then you finish, you use. But for now, just know that you need computer to work as, um, even if it's going to be the project you need to work on, you work on to uh, maybe make some savings if you, if you like. Uh, not going to join for one month, for if you take how much you spend in um, in joint in buying hero, you can save it up to buy yourself a, a fairly used laptop. So, oh, well, this is a big project, you know. So yeah, certainly I'm enjoying yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, Oyinyechi, do you have any question? Because you are the one that's always disturbing my class. Okay, that's very good. I'm not going to ask uh, the world because Manuela and the Juliet uh, they are very serious students. And Mesoma sleeps a lot in my class. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So thank God we are still awake. And Oinechi is, is very good at noise making. And she you find out that she's even sleeping already. She just log on and leave her laptop or her system, maybe to deceive us that she's here with us, but she's not here with us. Okay, I wish everyone um, good night uh, rest. So we need to finish this um, fairly this week so that you can start your work experience immediately. Uh, I'm starting a, a, a project management class by Friday, so I need to finish this to free up space for me to, call, to do that. So that's why I'm I'm trying to rush. It's a one month, so I want to finish it so that I can face for that. And you people is very we is is beneficial to you guys. So you will start your work placement immediately and jump in and start applying for jobs. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That was great.